Hello and welcome to Crypto Demos. In this video we're going to be talking about Unstoppable Domains, the company that allows you to purchase your own crypto domain name that you can own, a tokenizable asset on the blockchain, decentralized, which nobody can take away unless they have your private keys. And not only that, but you can link it to your cryptocurrency wallet address. So that means you can receive crypto such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum and others directly to this domain name. You no longer have to use that long alphanumeric character address and everything has just been simplified. So this is awesome. It's all about the revolutionary of the blockchain technology. Not only that, but you also get some storage space. So that means you could actually build a website and link it to this domain name and nobody could shut it down because it's on the blockchain. You've got the power. So that is awesome. Now, the question is, how revolutionary are unstoppable domains and will people actually adopt this technology? Who knows? We can't know for sure. We can't predict the future. But what they're doing so far is actually pretty awesome and we'll see if they, be they can become successful. Of course, if this is your first time here, my name is Claudio and this is Cryptoshin, the channel where I do crypto news, reviews, tutorials and interviews. And I just want to let you know before we get right in that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please make your own research on any kind of project. And also for transparency reasons, this is not a sponsored video, but I did get an affiliate deal. So I will get 25% of your purchase price from your domain name if you do use the referral link in the pinned comment of the video. If you do decide to use it, I would very much appreciate it because that would help my channel too and to continue to provide awesome content. Now let's get straight in and talk about unstoppable domains. So as we can see on their website right here, the first thing we're encountering here is actually a text box which is asking you to type a blockchain domain that you may want to find. So for example, if your name is Johnny, right, you could search for that and we can see that Johnny.zil and Johnny.crypto are not actually available yet, but they will be, right? So this name will be available for sale at a later time and you can add this to the watch list if your name is Johnny and you want to own Johnny.crypto. So for example, if it's your name is Johnny, but you want to say Johnny loves crypto and you want to search for that, it's available, right? Now, the .zil domain names are actually cheaper. So as you can see, it costs $20, but the .crypto ones are $40. So they're a little bit more expensive. So all the .crypto ones are $40. Now, of course, if somebody has already purchased a domain name and they want to sell it, you can actually resell the domain name. And of course, they can choose whatever price they want in that case, right? So things are different. But let's actually look at the different options here. So on the left hand side, we've got the account settings. So if we go to the account settings section, you can add a wallet, right? At the beginning, you've got no wallets added. So let's go to add wallet. And here we've got the option to link it to an Ethereum wallet or a Zilliqa wallet. If you have a Zilliqa wallet, you do need to upload the key store file, which is in the .json format. Or also, apart from that, you need to enter the passphrase. And then you can access your Zilliqa wallet, which I was telling you about because you can link your cryptocurrency wallets to the domain name that you purchased. So let's close this down. Let's go here and let's go to premium domains. So what is this section all about? So these are the premium domains, the domains that are very much searched for. Somebody bought these domains and now they're trying to resell them. So they're reselling them for a very large amount, right? So as we can see here, bits.zil costs $1,000 hash function dot zil 250. So a lot of these are expensive, immutable. So the world immutable is apparently very expensive as well. Now you can choose between different categories here. So this is in the blockchain category. You can see 16 of them are already sold. Uh, these are for sale by owner, all dot zil, for example. You can contact the owner here. The top domains, one dot zil, 360 dot zil, ABC. So all these ones are very, very expensive, overpriced. Uh, a lot of these were sold, Bitcoin.zil was sold, Blockchain.zil, so all these different names which represent the blockchain, which represents decentralization, something that they believe will be looked for in the future, will be searched for, right? Even stuff like crypto, for example, Crypto.zil was taken, that could very much prove to be expensive in the future. Uh, the common ones as well, Apartment.zil, things like that, the gambling ones, the names, places, short words sports in the sports section if you like cricket for example or golf or rugby three character ones and things like that 
right? So that is pretty cool, the fact that you can sort them all by name and you can just search for them that way. To move on here, we could go to the My Domain section. So if I don't have any domains, then of course it's not gonna say I have any domains, right? So no domains yet, I don't have any domains yet on this account. Uh, the My Watch List, I could add them, right? I don't have any domains in the watch list, but I could add them. Uh, if I would have clicked on Watch, watch this domain name. So for example, if my name, for example, let's say I want something with Claudio.crypto, if it's not available yet, if it's gonna be available later, I could set that to my watch list. So then that will show up here and it will let me know by sending me an email, a notification that it's available. There's the billing section, of course. I don't have any orders here. There's the affiliate section. So the affiliate section, again, is the same. If you go to the affiliate section here, you can actually get reward it if somebody uses your affiliate link as well, right? You get a certain percentage of their purchase. So that is pretty awesome. Now let's go here and let's go to store credits. So store credits does say I've got zero dollars here. So of course, if you top up, then you get store credits. But for now, I can't see anything. And then there's the cart here. So the cart does say it's empty, right? If I want to get something, right? For example, let me say here that I want to get, uh, I don't know, I love crypto. Let's see if that's taking. No, it's not taken. Okay, it's free. So let's say, for example, I want to add this to the cart. Okay, so it does say it's $40. I can go to the checkout section. And here it does ask me for the card details. I can submit the payment. And of course, crypto domains will undergo a manual review process prior to claiming. This process will ensure that the domain is not on our protected brands list. So there are a number of them which are on the protected brands list. Like for example, uh, YouTuber names. If you, if you try to look at any YouTuber names, they're actually on the protected list. So unstoppable domains have actually protected those uh, because they know who the famous YouTubers are. So pay by crypto, you can do that, of course. Not everything is by credit card because it's all about paying by crypto, right? It's all about this adoption thing. So of course, they're giving you that option. Uh, when you start this transaction, store credits will be deducted. So you can start the transaction, for example. Let me say I want to do that. And it tells me here I can purchase one domain. Again, I can purchase multiple ones. The options available to me are to pay by Coinbase, uh, with Coinbase, uh, pay with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Litecoin, or USD coin. So I could choose any of that, right? For example, this is the Bitcoin address that I need to send to, right? I've got one hour. That's how long it takes to receive the payment. So I've got one hour to send uh, to this address $40 in order to purchase the domain name. So that is pretty much how it is. Again, you can use that with your wallet, okay? And so, uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. I mean, it's very, very straightforward, right? So again, if you wanna go to get a new domain, Exactly the same, like I was telling you. So let's see, your name is Alice, and you wanna get Alice.crypto. Alice.zil is available, Alice.crypto is not yet available, and Alice.zil actually wants to sell it for $1,000, right? So yes, and this is pretty much it here. So very, very basic, very, very simple to use. Again, once you link this to your wallet, then you will receive them directly to your wallet. So these domain names will become storable on your wallet as a token, right? So that is pretty cool because once you add the wallet, it's linked to this account, right, that you've got. Until you create the wallet, it's not linked, so it's only stored on here, uh, on the website. So you do need to create that wallet to link it, right? Or at least connect your wallet to your MetaMask, for example, and once you connect your MetaMask to your browser wallet, then you can link that in order to get a domain name assigned to it. So that is pretty much it from today's video. Let me know what you think in a comment below. What's your opinion of Unstoppable Domains? Have you used it? And of course, let me know what you think of it if you have used it. Uh, again, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, if you want more content like this, and please subscribe if you're new. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, bye-bye.